Welcome to worship at First Christian Church, Disciples of Christ in Watkinsville, Georgia. We're so glad that you joined us here virtually. Today is the Sunday of Memorial Day weekend, and we lift up in prayers those families who have lost loved ones who were serving in the military. And we remember them with appreciation and thanksgiving for all military men and women who lost their lives in service to their country. We also claim today for our, our church congregation a Sabbath day. On fifth Sundays, we are declaring that to be truly a day of Sabbath where people can choose to stay home with family and friends or to uh, be outside and enjoying nature, finding different ways to express their faith and to allow God to speak to each and every one. As we prepare for next week, we will be in the sanctuary at 10 o'clock, June the 6th, and we invite all to join us for worship on that day. Now hear this call to worship as we prepare to spend some time in prayer and thanksgiving and praise of God. Blessed be God, eternal majesty, living word, abiding spirit. Jesus said the way to see God's dream for the world is to be born from above by the spirit. The way to take part in that dream says Jesus, is to be born of water and spirit. That gift is available this day. May you receive God's spirit, be made whole, and dwell more deeply in love divine. Let us find ways to praise God today. Will you join me as we enter into a time of quiet prayer and reflection you might find that you um, would go on a walk or be outside with a second cup of coffee or find some scriptures on your own to read or write in a prayer journal or just release your concerns of the week that God is hearing all. Hear this opening prayer followed by a quiet time for the Lord's Prayer and then Find ways to be reflective today in God's name. Let us pray together. Holy God, source of all goodness, you gave your Son for the life of the world and sent your Spirit that your love might abide within us. Teach us how to love each day and how to love each other that we may have life and have it abundantly with you in Christ and through the Holy Spirit. Hear us now as we pray from our hearts the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples saying, Our Father, In your name we pray, amen.
Our scripture readings for today will be three readings from our weekly lectionary. The lectionary is a selection of scriptures that are provided to be used for worship planning, for personal reflection, or for sermon preparation. Let us use these scriptures, three of the four, um, for our personal reflection for this day of Sabbath. The first scripture comes from the book of Psalms, Psalm 29. It starts off with the description of the voice of God in a great storm. Hear these words. Ascribe to the Lord, O heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory of his name. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord over mightily waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord flashes forth flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord causes the oaks to whirl and strips the forest bare. And in his temple all say glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forever. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. Our second reading is found from the New Testament, from the book of Romans. It is Romans 8, beginning with verse 12. Romans 8, beginning with verse 12. So then, brothers and sisters, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh, but for if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received a spirit of adoption. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is that very spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If, in fact, we suffer with him so that we may also be glorified with him. Our last reading from the lectionary for this week is taken from a familiar scripture for those that have been raised in the church. It's from the Gospel of John, chapter 3, beginning first with first verse and going to through verse 17. The first part of this reading is a story about a man named Nicodemus, who was a Pharisee, a leader in the Jewish community. He is puzzled and asking questions of Jesus, and Jesus is leading him to some answers. Now, there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a leader of the Jews. He came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do apart from the presence of God. Jesus answered him, Very truly, 
I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. Nicodemus said to him, How can anyone be born after having grown old? Can one enter a second time into a mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Very truly, I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be astonished that I said to you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it. But you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can these things be? Jesus answered him, Are you a teacher of Israel, and yet... You do not understand these things? Very truly I tell you, we speak of what we know and testify to what we have seen, yet you do not receive our testimony. If I have told you about earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven except the one who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Thus ends our readings for today. Thanks be to God. Let us now join together for a time of remembering the Christ through the act of eating and drinking in God's name. This is called communion. Sometimes we gather around a common table and sometimes we are scattered about around tables in our own home. Please prepare with something of bread, something of cup that we might partake in communion together. Would you join me for a moment of blessing of the bread and the cup? Let us pray. O Holy One, who is indeed gracious unto us, who has given unto us your Son, for you have loved us so much. We hear the scriptures and we want to believe. May we in the act of taking the bread and drinking of the cup, claim your promise of love and healing and forgiveness and hope. Bless this bread, the broken body of Christ. Bless this cup, the blood shed, that we might be forgiven. Bless us near and far as we remember your Son, Jesus, 
In your name we pray. Amen. On the very night that Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread, he blessed it, and he broke it, and then he gave it to his disciples and said, Take and eat, for this is my body broken for you. Do so in remembrance of me. Let us eat of the bread in remembrance of Christ. After supper, he took the cup, and after giving thanks, he said to them, Drink of it, all of you, for this is the cup of the new covenant poured out for the forgiveness of sin. As often as you drink of this cup, do so in remembrance of me. Let us drink of the cup in remembrance of Christ. Because of the abundance of Christ's love for us, we have been blessed with so many moments of understanding and change and renewal and perhaps revival. Our blessings have given us the ability to then in turn share through the good news of Christ with others. We do that with our time, our talent, and our treasures through the ministries of this congregation. Hear these words as we prepare to give thanks to God for all the blessings. For God so loved the world that God gave his only Son so that all who love him may have life eternally. It is with loving hearts we bring our offerings to God for blessings and for praise. Amen. As we prepare to leave from this place of gathering and go into our world, into the world, to share a day of rest and renewal with one another, to share perhaps a time of helping someone else or visiting or being prepared to make a, a difference in the world. Hear this blessing and charge. May the Lord give strength to the people. May the Lord bless the people with peace. And the blessing of God who creates and restores and revives each and every one be with you now and always. Go now in peace. Amen.